hundreds of millions of Americans know. Why do our elected really officials wrong. put us at such we risk? We can't survive $20 Nothing trillion can be dollars sacred. of outstanding public debt. We must debt. balance the budget now. It's going bankrupt if it's not bankrupt already. If we don't fix it now, some of the wisest people we saw knew that it would change forever. Sometimes, folks, there are situations where it becomes crystal clear where people stand. Recently, in the United States Congress, we got to understand once and for all that our elected representatives, the vast majority of them, don't care about us and don't care about our children. I'm talking about the recent budget deal between Democrats and Republicans, where even 169 members of the U.S. House of Representatives voted on a budget deal that goes out two years past uh, the midterm elections to October of 2015. When we get to October 2015, by the way, no one will deal with these major problems like entitlements and Social Security and so forth. Basically, they stopped the sequester, which was cutting the deficit. They made some cuts, little tiny ones. They're dealing with by paying extra for airline fees, and they're going to get some of the money back out in 2022 and 2023. You want to laugh, but that's what they're doing. They're telling you that they're going to make more cuts to the budget 10 years from now. We elect U.S. congressmen every two years to do one-year budgets. They're not, no one's beholden out in 2022 or 2023. No one is willing to deal with Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. But they are willing to deal with national defense. They made sure they put an extra $60 billion in for it. We're spending over $600 billion on national defense. And listen, I'm as strong on national defense as someone you'll find. But even during the Reagan buildup, adjusted for inflation, we only spent $475 billion per year. So we can cut that too. But these people, including, by the way, uh, Paul Ryan, who, who's noted as a quote-unquote conservative. Congressman Ryan, it's not conservative when you vote for Medicare Part D and leave 13 trillions on the back of my children. $13 trillion. It's not conservative with what you're doing with the budget. We don't want you to deal with airline fees. We don't want people to say, oh, at least we have a deal and now we can move forward. No, we need some profiles and courage from somebody out there like John F. Kennedy wrote about, people who are willing to lose their job. But with this vote and 169 Republicans in the House of Representatives, the House and the Senate have decided to kick the can down the road even farther. But here's the problem. As we get past $17 trillion in public debt and $220 trillion of unfunded liabilities on our kids' heads, it's not just kicking it down the road. We can now see the cliff, and the can is going off the cliff. And we're going to go off it, too, with higher interest rates. We're going to spin out of control over the next five, six, or seven years, definitely before 2023. It's not time to be nice to your congressman. When you see them, Anybody who voted for this, find out who it is and tell them they need to resign. We need new people. We need people with courage to do the right thing, to explain to the American people that there's a drastic problem and we need to balance our budget and we need to do it now.